Hi there, welcome to Homie's Place. Thanks for joining me again. For the, the subscribers, thank you very much for returning. And for the newbies that may be looking at this, welcome to the site. And uh, you can subscribe anytime you like. Just press the little button below and uh, we'll all be happy. Look, today's, today's topic is a little bit of a, um, a diversion from where I normally go, but it is a very important diversion. So, you know, we'd, we hopefully we'll, we'll get um, a bit of interaction with uh, some people and you can comment anytime you like. But today's, today's topic is mental health. Okay, mental health. Now, it's become pretty prevalent in the last few years, especially with the younger people. Um, back in my day, there was mental health, but it was hidden. It was hidden away. You never really seen it. You never really talked about it. You know, you just had done crazy Uncle Joe, or, you know, your aunt, whatever, was an alcoholic. I mean, it just it, it was just never really brought out to the forefront. Um, but I suppose nowadays, you know, when you look at the amount of people that have studied psychology and so forth over the last 10, 15 years, and that's become a really popular subject in, in the universities and so forth, so it's bringing all these things out. It's, it's not saying that it wasn't there before. It was there before, but it was never spoken about. It was a taboo. Now, thank God or whoever you pray to, we can talk about it. It is no longer a taboo. It is out front and central, right? Mental health issues do not have the stigma attached to them now that they did in the old days, right? They do not have that connotation of, well, here or another, right? It's not, it's not like that anymore. Mental health is actually prevalent everywhere. And thank God, now people can be treated for it and all these fast complaints that we used to hide and put away and, and sweep under the carpet and put in the cupboard and all that now are out in the open to be discussed like normal human beings with compassion and care and everything that they, to help people with an issue. And it doesn't matter, your issue doesn't have to be a major issue, it can just be a small issue. But it's still good to bring it out. You know, it is still good to bring it out. It can be anything from OCD to ADHD to whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is now and, look, and what the causes of it are and anxiety and depression and so many different things in life now are brought to the front so we can discuss it right? and we can take care of it. And for those of you that do have any issues with mental health and so forth, the number one thing that I want you to know, the number one thing that you need to know is there is help for you just around the corner. It is everywhere. There is help for you now, unprecedented amount of help for you now. Everywhere, right? Everywhere you look, there is help for you. You do not have to suffer in silence anymore, right? You can come out, now's the time you can bring all that out in the open with nothing to worry about, right? Nothing to worry about whatsoever, right? There's lots of help out there and, and it's there and that's why it's there, it's there to help. Right? It's there to help. So if anybody does suffer from anything, then I truly, I really hope that you seek out that help. And the first place to start, you can go to your normal GP, your normal doctor, and he can lead you in the right direction. There's plenty of places, and I'll put a couple of lights of um, links to them. Like uh, for in Australia, you've got Lifeline and, and Black Dog Institute and um, Are You OK? So there's lots of places to go and get help now, right, for everybody. Which is, which is fantastic, right? It's 2020, it's about bloody time, right? And get it out from under that carpet and get it in the open and get it sorted out, you know? So as I touched on, the, look, there's many, 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 many different forms of um, mental health, you know? Mental health issues, it's not that your mental health, there's mental issues that are, that are in your head, okay? It doesn't mean that, it, it sounds funny saying mental health to me, you know, and because back in the old days, mental health, mental institutions and so forth had a, had a real negative connotation to them, you know, but it is just mental health, that's all it is, you know. Um, and, and they can range, like I said, from depression. You know, depression a lot of the time just comes from things in the past that you haven't been able to cope with, that you haven't been able to put out of your head, that you haven't been able to move forward from. So when you're depressed, you know, you're always thinking about the past, you know. You don't get depressed about the future, you get depressed about the past. In the future, the anxiety, you know, anxiety and expectation, anxiety and stress comes from about the future. And a lot of the time, people get anxiety and they worry about the future from um, their own head when 
when the future does arrive and it becomes the present, none of the things that they stressed about and worried about all that time came to fruition. So it's in all that time worrying and stressing about something that's, that hasn't happened, you know, and, and the depression coming and worrying about things that have been in the past. And it's not a simple, it's, it's a simple thing, but it's not, right? I'm not trying to make it out as simple as this. This is just the basics, right? The very basics of my interpretation of stuff, right? So I'm not a psychologist, I'm not anybody, right? I'm just a bloke with a couple of opinions, right? So don't think this is any help. Right? It's not, it's, it's, it's just my opinions and it's not any um, advice or so forth. But for me, I see depression come from uh, people thinking about the past. The past is already gone. There's nothing you can do about it. You can only learn from it and take it as a lesson and, and move on from it. Right? And that's a simplistic way <laughs> of looking at depression, but it's by means, no, never meant to, to um, degrade the depression. I've been depressed. Right? I have personally been depressed a couple of times. I have been down. I have been down rock bottom. Right? I've been so far down you can't get down any further. Right? I did have an attempted suicide many years ago and thank the lucky stars or whoever, whatever up there, because look, I'm, I'm agnostic, so you know, if, you, if an agnostic can say thank you God, then I'll thank you God. Thank you to spirit, whatever it was. But it never went through. Right? And I look back at all those times now and I'm talking probably 26, 27 years ago that happened. And, and it was due to a separation from my first wife and I've been able to see the kids and all those things that happen to people when they separate. And it just got to me and I was young and I was drinking a lot and it, one day it just tried to happen and fortunately for me, I'm still here. But for a lot of people that doesn't happen anymore. You know, for a lot of people now, suicide is the number one cause of killing uh, for young Australian males. Right, for males between the age of, uh, I think it's 16 and 25, it's the number one cause of death. That and road accidents. Suicide and road accidents, you know, why? Why does it have to be like that now? It doesn't have to be like that. There's so much help out there for now. So much help out there for everybody now, right, that this thing just shouldn't happen. It shouldn't be on anybody's radar now. We just want to get it out and get it into the open and let people know about it and let's, let's try and you know, get rid of the demonization of all these things that, you know, people think and the stigmas and so forth. And people can just be out there and enjoy life, you know. Because we're all beautiful. You've all got beautiful brains and you can have a beautiful life. You just have to guide your life that way, you know. So if there's any pain or anguish, depression, anxiety, stress or whatever it may be, right, you need to get it out. You need to speak to somebody about it. There is so much help out there for you now. There is so much help, right, that you can go and get it. You know, don't be, don't be ashamed, don't be shy, don't be anything about it. Go and seek help, right? That is essential for the rest of your life. You need to go and seek the help now so you can live a happy, fulfilled life, right, instead of suffering like you are now. Right? And that's to the people that are suffering a little bit within their own heads. And, um, um, so anyway, I know this has been a, uh, it's a pretty straightforward talk. I'm not trying to make fun of anything or I'm not trying to uh, denote anybody or do anything. I just wanted to put it out there. Mental health is a serious issue that we have amongst people today and especially young, amongst the young people, right? So we need to take care of them. They're our future. Right? Young people need to be looked after and need to be taken care of. And for you people my age and just below, you need to look after yourselves and you need to go and get and seek help wherever you can. Right? And I just want to say, nothing, nothing in this world right, is worse than what you do to yourself if you self-harm or suicide. Okay? You think you're, you're killing the pain? You're not killing the pain, you're passing it on to somebody else. Right? A pain doesn't die with you, it gets passed on to somebody else. Right? It's a hard thing to say, but it, it's the way it is. Right? Because as much as you want to get out of here, you're going to stay here, you're going to stay in people's memories. And every one of those little celebrations along the way, your birthday, Christmas, whatever it might be, the date of your death, whatever, right? they will go through that pain every time. Every time one of those dates comes up. Every time they look in the they can uh, the phone and get a look at your photos or see you on some social media that somebody's had out there for years, right? So just remember, if you're contemplating that, you're not the only one that is going to affect if you take that action in your life by ending your life. 
all right so seek help okay seek help now i'm going to pass on i've got a i've got a couple of interviews that i've done with a couple of people they've just got a few words to say about it uh our mental health and, and i hope it enlightens a few people all right and let's get it out there in the open let's get it out there so people can be treated all right let's get it out there anyway let's listen to what these people have to say and then i'll come back with a short uh goodbye after that okay thanks for your time mental health mental health okay that's a that that is a tough one um having been involved with someone in my life for a long time who suffered from mental health issues i've certainly been exposed to that and it's difficult sometimes for people who don't suffer that to really understand it um, it's one thing to say be positive get out just do it get up in the morning take a shower put on some clothes take pride in yourself set your goals live your life it's easier said than done I think some people have mental health issues that are possibly uh, beyond everyone's understanding that's all I can say on that We've done the normal health. What about mental health, mate? Mental health in today's society. Yep, it's everywhere. Um, everyone's got it. I've probably got it. You've got it. Not good. It is what it is. We just got to get over it and get get through it. So you think it's a bit more prevalent now? Ah, uh, definitely. Just with everyone wants probably with your question before as well. Everyone wants everything now, which things take time. Um, things just don't happen snap your fingers where that's what we want we want to be going through drive through McDonald's and have a meal in five seconds if it's not done in five seconds it triggers people and they get angry and little things like that trigger people and that's what happens okay I've got to I've got to touch on a subject that's um, pretty prevalent nowadays okay. which is mental health mental health mental health very complicated I think a lot of people don't understand enough and I think more people should um, and I think the biggest thing with like mental health is that people who struggle with mental health we tend to like want to put our mental ideas, our perspectives onto them and we always want people to accept how we think but we don't have that right or entitlement for people to like accept what we have uh, or accept like how we think and often we think that people's problems are going to be fixed and their mental health issues are going to be fixed because we're in a good state and we share why we're in a good state and we want them to accept it and to learn it and to adopt it into their lives. Um, but I think that's... that. I know it's like selfless when you think about it, but in truth it's really selfish. Um, mental health, big issue nowadays for a lot of reasons. Um, but. We just have to be able to understand people and care about people. Mental health. I, I didn't understand about mental health for a long time in my life because I didn't have any issues and I didn't know anybody that had issues. But nowadays it seems to be very prominent. And yes, you know, there's obviously a, mental health is a big issue for a lot of people now. So there we go. There's a there's a couple of different uh, opinions. It's good to hear from the young people down, the, you know, that, that I've met with. Uh, they can confront this stuff now, and you can see in a couple of their eyes, you know, they they, they have to think about it, and it's it's not an easy topic, not an easy topic. That's why nobody goes into the depth of it. They just skirt around the outside of it, you know. But anyway, like I said, I'll put a couple of links down below that you can if you're if you're suffering in any way, you can get in touch with those links. Now, look, I do try and try and help people. So look. If you're new to the channel, just have a, a, a go through all my videos and, you know, hopefully there may be something there. If you're, you know, struggling with something, there may be some help there for you. If not, uh, like I said, there's lots of lots of help out there. But I'm all about self-improvement and so forth and helping people get through things. So even if you don't um, think this video helps you, it might help somebody else. So, you know, feel free to pass it on. Uh, like, share, follow, comment and all those things. So... Thank you very much for your time again. I appreciate you, you listening to my little little rant there. And um, let's hope we can nip this thing in the butt. Okay, until the next video. I'll see you again soon.